All right, welcome back to Exodus 2020. Here we are again. This is getting interesting, right? We're, we're taking a big, we're taking a deep dive. We're taking a deep dive. And uh, where we ended up last time is we're talking about this movement of our desire being transferred. St. Bernard of Clairvaux, or St. Bonaventure, we'll call this a, a Passover, our Passover, passing over from the world of sense to the spirit. And believe it or not, things not connected to the senses, so we don't see them. I can't even maybe get even get to the point where I can't understand them. Gives us sweetness and delight. You ever been one? If for those of you who have a decent prayer life, you've probably been at the point where you've experienced some del, a, a delight. And how do you know if you're experiencing delight? It's like I like it here. I don't. I don't. I, can, I don't want to leave. I mean, that would be your sense. So that you, there's there's a contentment. There's an enjoyment. And there's no object that's you know before you or in your mind. And so you don't, you can't understand it. It's not intelligible. <laughs> it's it's beyond your beyond your understanding. Your intelligence. There's a transferring of desire from the sense world to the spiritual world. This doesn't mean we don't enjoy don't, don't enjoy things of the world, but we're beginning just a hint, a, just a little bit, to begin to taste the sweetness of the Lord. This is the peace that the Lord has promised. Is this just for priests and religious? No. The Book of Exodus. <laughs> is the entire people of God. And the whole work, the whole purpose of the priesthood of Moses, the prophecy of Moses, is to empower and enable people, the people to be able to taste and enter into this land of milk and honey. That's the promised land. This is the interior life. So something to reflect upon, like God has made you for more. It's not, we're not talking about more powerful, richer, is some kind of prosperity gospel. No, God's made you for something more, a, a new sweetness, a new delight that in which a, there's a Passover that's happening. We're going from the things of sense, right? And the sinfulness that's associated with them and the sweetness to the things of the spirit that we don't see with our visible eyes, but we have a soul and a spirit and we begin to connect and begin to actually taste. We're drawn by this, this love that is very peaceful, very almost subtle, especially in the beginning. And we begin to realize, that's almost when we begin to realize what we're ultimately made for. And so, brothers and sisters, that's the end of this, well, Exodus 2020 continues, but of this series of reflections in Exodus 2020. All right, we'll see you soon.